yeah, like I actually kind of agree with the offshore pretty much. Um, I actually I don't agree with like what happened in the past, like with the electromagnetic pulse. I don't think that it was ever really explained in the video why the founders did it, but I heard that they did it basically to keep the the inland dependent on the offshore, right? Right. Uh, cause the offshore has like you know the water, the I would say soil, the fruits, the vegetables, all that stuff. They make all that stuff. They have all the factories on the island, and it's like to me, it's like I don't really see that all on the island because there has to be hundreds of factories. Like um, I don't know how many people live in there and in the inland all that stuff and offshore. I'm guessing it's millions, right? There has to be like at least a hundred factories, man. Like, and I know factories can make different things at each factory and all that stuff. But still, it's like that small island carrying that many factories. I don't see that. Like, I really don't. But anyway, let's just say it makes sense, right? Let's just say it makes sense. Um, it pretty much put all the factories all on the island everywhere. I never see any factory workers. That should be a ton of factory workers baby because it's like i heard that they get chosen for a job like when they actually get into the process pretty much they get chosen for a job and that's, that's the job they're going to do in a you know initial interview right when they first you know go in on their 20th birthday but anyway listen listen this is what i'm trying to say right i kind of don't hate the offshore i really don't hate the offshore these are regular people that came from poverty that actually just went on the island to live good, like, to eat good, to get the medicines, they especially they need their medicines, come on now, what people are sick, you know, uh, 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 um, to get a warm bath, to get a bed to lay in, to basically just overall extend their lives, you know, the betterment of their lives pretty much, so it's like, why in the world should I be mad at them, they're not the ones that caused the problems, um, from a long time ago, they were suffering from the problems, you understand what I mean? It's like when the founders made the island pretty much and they went on the island. What the founders did were was um I'm guessing the rest of the people that were on the island with them, they were also they were investors. This is what I'm thinking because even though the founders were very, very, very rich, I'm guessing that the rest of the people that stay on the island, they had to be investors too, because they're also very rich. And so therefore they get the basically by the by their way in and so i think that the founders just let other people come in the island um they say it's to prevent um inbreeding which is actually a really good idea to um actually no i don't agree with that part when they sterilize them i think that each and every person on the island should be able to have at least one kid right and then they get sterilized right and then after that you know let the other guys in Pretty much a lot less people will be let in, but I mean, come on now. Come on, no kids at all? Come on, no kids at all? That's one thing I find wrong, right? But other than that, it's like, what did the offshore do that so bad? Like, what did the residents do so bad? They just regular broke people that came over there to live better, and that's it. Um, the rich people, a long time ago, the founders, they let the inlanders live on the island with them. Because it was a, it was the right thing to do. Um, it was the right thing to do. It was incredibly beneficial. And so it's like, you know, why not? Why not? So, it kind of sucks that they were making kind of like the inlanders, the, I mean, the offshore people. I think they made them take another test. That sucks. I hate the fact that they put a nuclear reactor on the place. I hate that because I remember specifically um, Joanna's mom. She said it's not her mom. I don't, I don't know if I believe that. I, well, it's not her mom. It's not her mom. It can't be. But Joanna's, uh, what she thought was a mom, she basically said the inland is dependent on the offshore for food and for water and for everything else, right? But they just destroyed the offshore. So does that mean everybody's going to die? I mean, they're not really freaking out as much as i thought because they were freaking out because they didn't have a home but shouldn't you be freaking out because you don't have anything to drink or anything to eat i mean come on you should re you should be terrified not having nothing to drink eat no medicine no knowledge of anything to build anything i guess i guess they don't because i don't know what's happening over there uh y'all should be terrified of that but it wasn't really um displayed in the show but this is the thing what i'm saying right what i'm saying right 
if I were to ever get into an ultra, let's just say I get really fortunate, I get into a group or something like that, or maybe I saw a couple of puzzles myself and then we all pass. If I ever get into an ultra, I really, I don't hate anybody. I just don't hate anybody. I'm not going to hate anybody that went to the ultra at all. I just can't do it. Um, I don't know why the inlanders hate the offshore. Uh, the call, oh yeah, the call started by the daughter of the founders, right? She started by the because the daughter couldn't get in. That's the biggest crock of all because it's like, listen, the only reason why the calls exist is because the daughter was jealous because she couldn't get in. She was mad that she couldn't get in. That's the only reason. She didn't actually believe that the program should be shut down. She doesn't actually believe that was a good choice. Uh, she just believed. That hell, she couldn't get in. So why, why should anybody else get in? Everybody should just fight against it. She couldn't be able. She couldn't um, be with her mom and her dad. You know, and that's the way it happened. Now I just believe. I just believe everybody there is going to be poor because what happened is that a lot of viewers don't understand, but they are like in the desert, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away from the ocean. They're in the desert. I don't know what they're going to do, and I don't know how they're going to do it with the food and the water. I wonder if they're just going to try to move closer towards the ocean or something like that because I don't know because I don't know if radioactivity actually reached the land. Uh -huh. It just really sucks because the offshore is kind of like my home pretty much. I mean, well, it's actually 10 times better than my home because it's brand new, but it's like you know, they got the trees and they got the landscape and then they got the building that's nice and, it's, you know, it's it's clean and all that stuff. And you understand what I mean? It's like, I just can't. I just can't I hate the offshores. I just can't hate them. I just can't do it. I can't do it. It don't make no sense to do it. I, I just can't. Oh, and not to mention, I got to say this. The offshore makes more sense than the inlanders because the inlanders are just trying to destroy nice stuff. They don't really have a goal into a building except Michelle. But Michelle was kind of ruined by um Marco was it? Marco and um uh, what's her name is Gloria and um Joanna in the beginning Joanna and it's like nobody actually understood like what was the purpose of building. It's like that was the most stupidest thing I could ever see because Michelle was just trying to build the area she literally bribed officials to get that building and that piece of land right and the food and the war all the important stuff right and the medicine just to help everybody that's in the poverty right and then they turn on her and then everybody in the building was trying to give the building right back right to uh marcella to to the to the government and that was just the stupidest thing of all. Like, when Gloria actually, I gotta say, when Gloria burned down that building, baby, let me tell you. The only people I felt bad for was the babies in there. The little babies, the little kids. That's only uh, the only ones I felt bad for. The rest of the people, the grown adults who made decisions to turn their backs on the place, I didn't really feel bad for them at all. I'm just saying I don't feel bad for them at all because if they traded out so easily, if they traded her out so easily for, like, Trade it out, trade it out, right? For uh, Marcella, then it's like, why in the world should I be worried about, you know, them even saying, it doesn't make sense. Why would they do that? 